Exploring Dilations on a Coordinate Plane, Lesson 10.1b. We've learned that dilations are transformations that change the size of a figure but not its shape. Every dilation has a fixed point called the center of dilation. The image and pre-image of a figure under dilation are similar. We have this quadrilateral ABCD and we have its image A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Well, a prime, B prime, C prime, D prime is similar to A, B, C, D. Remember, that's the symbol for similar. They both have the same shape and orientation, only their sizes are different. So this is how the coordinates are affected by a dilation. We have a quadrilateral A, B, C, D, and we have its image, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. We have a table where we have listed the vertices for a prime, b prime, c prime, d prime, all of the x values, all of the y values, then the vertices for a, b, c, d, and its x values and y values. We look at each one of these as an ordered pair. Now, if you look at a prime, it's at negative 2, 4, and a is at negative 4, 8. We divide and we get a ratio of 5 tenths. This is what we did. We took a prime's x value of negative 2 and divided it by a's x value of negative 4. We have a negative divided by a negative, which makes a positive, and this is 1 half, or 5 tenths. And we did it to each one. We had b prime's x value of 3 and b's x value of 6, which is equal to 1 half, or 5 tenths. And we did it for each x and y value, and every single time, our ratio came out as 5 tenths. Each x value of the image is half the value of the x value of the pre-image. And same for the y values. They were half the value of the y value of the pre-image. And since all of the ratios are 5 tenths, all of the ratios are in proportion to each other. So figure ABCD or quadrilateral ABCD was reduced. We can see the image is smaller. It was reduced by a ratio of 5 tenths by dilation to form figure A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. The shape and orientation of figure ABCD did not change. The size did change. And since the ratio of the dilation is 5 tenths, Figure A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime is half the size of figure A, B, C, D. I made a table to show which transformation preserves size, shape, and orientation. If you look, translation does all of that. Reflection only does size and shape. Rotation only does size and shape. But look at dilation. Dilations are the only transformation that doesn't preserve the size of the figure. A dilation enlarges or reduces all dimensions proportionally. ABCD is a square, and A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime is the image. If segment A prime, B prime is 12 units long, then all the sides of square A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime are 12 units long. That's the definition of a square. If segment AB is four units long, all the sides of square A, B, C, D are four units long. We can do 12 divided by three to find the ratio is three. Square A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime is three times larger than square A, B, C, D. Square A, B, C, D was enlarged by a ratio of three to form square A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. We're finished with 10.1b. We're moving on to C, the last part finding a scale factor. When you get into high school geometry, you're going to review this plus learn a little bit more about dilations. I hope you have a wonderful day and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.